And I'm lying here reliving the last few days Cause I missed most of them the first time Hey, what's going on guys? This is Zai from Super Sun Reborn. This is 10 tips to improve your gaming commentaries. Now first, before any of you guys leave a comment like, Zai, you don't even have any subscribers. Well, I'm making this video because basically I've been doing a lot of research on this and I just thought I might as well make one collective video that brings together everything that I've seen from multiple different commentating videos about the same topic. First, don't join YouTube if you're just looking to A, get big, or B, make money. Join YouTube because you want to join YouTube because you enjoy posting content or because you have something that you enjoy doing that you want to share with other people. Second, have commitment. YouTube, you're not going to become big overnight. There are a few cases, of course, there's the Eugene Yackles of the world and stuff that get a shout out from a bigger channel and become big. But that's very rare and it, really you can't go into YouTube expecting for that to happen. You're going to slowly grow your consumer base over time. Three, have a good mic. You don't have to go out and get a Blue Yeti or anything like that like everybody says. Everybody says, oh, get a Blue Yeti. You don't. Just have a good sound system. Know your settings on your sound system. Like I personally use Audacity to where I can change the pitch and all that and get my voice sounding as crisp and clear as possible. Number four, good, have a good editing software and a PVR, especially if you're gonna be a gaming commentator. Uh, it's gonna become really important for you to not only have it in the software, but know how to use it. Mess around with the settings, figure out what's gonna work for you with each video. And if you're gonna be a gaming you know, personality, if you wanna be the next T-Mart or whatever, you have to have an HD PVR or an Elgato or something along those lines because you're never ever, nobody's ever gonna watch a video where you're using your phone or iPod. And if they do, you might grow a lot of slack for that and you never want that kind of hate on your channel. Number five, be yourself. Um, this is something that anybody will tell you but I'm going to go a little bit more into detail about it. Um, when people say be yourself, they just mean don't be fake. Don't try to be somebody else. Don't come into YouTube, you know, you can come in saying I want to be the next T-Mart, but don't come in saying, man, I'm going to be T-Mart. Come in knowing you're going to be yourself, but know what you want to do. Don't come in trying to copy other people or be like, I want to be the next Smosh. Just be yourself, be natural, and that's when the commentating will really just come easy to you when you're just being natural don't try to be if you're not a funny person don't try to force jokes if you're not if you're like a very mellow person like I am don't try to be wacky and silly or anything like that I just talk I try to be really informative and uh, really clear cut and concise I don't try to be anything I'm not Number six, I'm going to dispel a myth for you guys. You know those people that always say, be enthusiastic, be crazy and wild. You got to, don't be boring. They don't know what they're talking about. The best thing you can do is be yourself. When they say be yourself, now, of course, I don't want you to come in sounding like you don't care. Like, I, like this is what... This is what most people mean by be enthusiastic. They don't want you to sound like this. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is my gaming thing or whatever. You see how boring that is? Now, imagine that for a three-minute video. You see, you can't because you would never watch through that. But also, you don't want to take it the other extreme. That's where most people go wrong. They try to go the opposite direction, and they become too enthusiastic trying to make a message and just un end up being annoying. No, this is something I believe I'm pretty decent at. I try to be uh, kind of enthusiastic. I talk a little bit louder than I usually would so that it really picks up on the mic. That's what you need to do. Take your personality and just bump it up to where you're uh, you're not fading it to the background is basically what I'm saying. Don't be – you don't have to be entertaining, though that would probably help. You don't need to be entertaining. You can do whatever you want. You can be informative. I know Vsauce. Look at Vsauce. Vsauce isn't a gaming channel or anything like that. He's informative. He's to the point. And over years of learning, he became very entertaining to watch. Be like that. Just be yourself. Just be a 
more enthusiastic version of yourself so you don't sound too dull. Number seven, play, and if you're a gaming commentator, then play what you enjoy. And if you're someone like me that can do either, I just talk about what I'm thinking about. I don't make a video because people ask me to, though if you guys do and I like your comment, I will talk about it, but I'm not going to talk about it just because you told me to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it because if I have something to say. If you're playing, like there's of course the few examples like me and my brother are currently playing through Lost Planet, which is a game that neither of us like, but we're playing through it for the purpose that we don't like it. What I'm saying is don't be a Call of Duty commentator just to be a Call of Duty commentator. If you don't like Call of Duty, it's going to show in your gameplay. Don't play a game that's popular just to become popular. Play a game because you like playing it. Like, I play Minecraft because I truly enjoy playing Minecraft. It's a good waste of time. But I also enjoy playing NBA. I will be, I might even do Let's Plays in that. It, I play games that I enjoy playing. You would never catch me playing a game like Call of Duty because it's a game I don't enjoy. I don't, I personally don't like it. Number eight. Now, I'm going to discuss the difference between spamming and marketing because I can't tell you how many comments I've seen where they're like, there's a video saying you need to market yourself. And in the comment section, people are like, well, he told me to market myself, so I'm a gaming quick scoping channel. You see, that's, that's different. So that's the main problem I see. People don't explain what marketing is. Marketing is not spamming. I do ne I never suggest spamming. People say, well, this one guy spammed and he got that. Yeah, but think about it. For every one person that gains a subscriber from spamming, there's another guy that gets a bunch of hate for spamming on channels. Some channels will even block you. Like, I know Woody's Gamertag has a really does not enjoy spamming. And the problem is, is that most big YouTubers don't spam or have ever spammed. I don't think I, I don't think Woody's Gamer Tag ever spammed. That's why he blocks people that spam is because they're doing something that's annoying and it is. Anyone that says it isn't just it's annoying when you try to watch an Eminem video and you see nothing but in the comic sections but 10 or 15 people saying I'm an up-and-coming rapper that's different. You're not you're not and stop bothering me when I'm trying to see what people think of this song. That's the problem with spamming. Is it just it takes up space when you don't want to see it. Um, now let me explain what marketing is. Marketing is uh, multiple different things. You marketing is like if you find another channel that has similar things to yours, similar gameplay, similar commentating style, similar subscriber bases, even work with them. Ask them, hey, do you want to do a Dual com with me or something like that. If you're a co if you're a Call of Duty commentator, do a live lobby with them or something. Uh, marketing is really just getting yourself out there and showing others that you exist. You can even do it like I know some people send emails around. Um, I don't particularly in like do that. I don't think I have ever done that, but it it does work. I send them emails saying, "Hey, this is a video you should check out if you like stuff like this." Like if I see somebody that I know wants to know about gaming, how to be a better gaming commenter, then I would send them this video. Stuff like that. That's what marketing is. Spamming never really helps your channel, though, so I really don't suggest that. Number nine, answering comments and questions on your videos. I personally I really enjoy reading comments even negative comments because they help me improve things now of course there's always going to be the hate comments which is something i have a problem with like if you don't like something about my video tell me what you don't like and i'll try to improve it don't just tell me i'm a gay fag or something that's not going to help me that's just going to get you blocked from the channel and your comment removed it's it will literally take me two seconds i'm not going to read your comment i'm going to gay fag oh block remove so but for those that are trying to grow a channel answering comments and questions is the best way to a get ideas for your channel b see how your subscribers are enjoying the videos you're making and c grow personal connections with your subscribers i mean think about it if you have one subscriber that consistently 
is on your channel, consistency watches your videos and comments, if you answer, if you don't answer their comments, then they're going to feel like they're not being listened to. But if you answer their comments consistently and talk to them back and forth with messages, then you're really going to make them feel like they're important, that each subscriber is important to you. And that, and they should be, each subscriber should be important to you. I know it's kind of cheesy, but it's true. And 10, my final tip, don't make a video to get views and don't make videos on YouTube to get, you know, popularity. Make videos if you have something to say or if you enjoy making them. Like, for example, this video, I don't, I didn't make this video. I don't expect this video to get many views. I made this video because I went through hundreds of videos about the same topic and I thought I could put together everything I've learned and make a video that talks about everything you might need. And so it's the same thing. Don't make a video to get views. Don't make a Harlem, like that's my problem with the Harlem Shake videos that were out a while back. Nobody was making a Harlem Shake video because they wanted to make a Harlem Shake video. Everyone was making a Harlem Shake video because they wanted a piece of the popularity from the Harlem Shake videos. You can never do that. Well, anyways, guys, this is uh, the end of my video. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment telling me what you want me to talk about next and uh, what you think about this subject. Also, if you guys have any more questions uh, that you want me to answer, leave them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you on that. Thanks, guys. I'm Zai, and I'm out. And I'm lying here reliving the last few days Cause I missed most of them the first time